Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Teens for Business. I'm your host, Jack. I'm Ivan. I'm Kywin. I'm Jackie. Thanks so much for joining us today. In this episode, we will be talking about the Wharton LBW program academics. There will also be a part two discussing activities and student life in the program. And furthermore, there will be a part three with special student guests debriefing their experiences in the program. But first of all, I'd like to give like a brief introduction of the Warren LBW program. LBW, which is short for Leadership in the Business World, is a three-week summer program hosted by the Warren School of Business, which is primarily primarily for rising seniors. And the first week of the program primarily teaches like business concepts such as marketing, operations, finances, and HR. And the second week teaches leadership practices in business, which includes ESG and DEI practices. And the final week explores business strategy and organization, culminating in final project presentations, which in which students apply and analyze the subjects taught in the previous two weeks to a company or startup of their choosing. Lectures usually run from 9.30 to a.m. to 4.30 p.m. with a few short breaks and an hour-long lunch break, and students have the rest of the day for activities and fun, which will be discussed in more in depth in part two. And with that, I will turn the floor over to Jackie and Kyvin to begin their Q&A discussion regarding academics. Yeah. Um, okay. So one of the burning questions I guess I had was, like, were the classes, how were they structured? Like, were they difficult? Were they, like, you know, super easy? Um, things like that. Like, did it feel like a regular, like, nine to four o'clock regular school day? Or did it feel like, you know, something that was definitely very different from the average school day? Um, I would honestly, like, sometimes, like, they, they would, like, lecture straight through it. But other times, they would also, like, give, like, a lot of, like, collaborative work with the peers around you. So in some ways, it is, like, similar but also in some ways is like a little bit like different well in my opinion um definitely there are like stints of lectures like i think it's like one and a half hour lectures two hour lectures in the morning but usually after that we usually have a uh, breakout sessions which is um more like breakout sessions where like you literally break out um rather than like what you see typically at school and uh, there's a lot more, typically a lot more uh, discussions going on. People are more enthusiastic. Um, and the lectures also, it's like just more people who are uh, willing to speak up, willing to help out. And that's, I think that's why it's a bit different from your typical like high school lecture. And also, I just want to add on to that. Like on usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we normally have like a, uh, like a guest speakers or something like that. They're usually they're hosted in a different lecture hall and they're like it's kind of like an auditorium. And they're actually like Wharton professors that that give like really interesting presentations. And if you guys have questions on that, I can go into more depth about those. Oh, I feel like that's really interesting. Like that's such a great opportunity to hear from them directly. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just gonna ask like what was the workload like? Did they assign a lot of hom homework or like stuff that you had to do like on your own time just to like like, I know you guys had that final project at the end, like, what else th throughout the three weeks did you guys, like, do? I think mostly the, at the beginning, especially, it was just, like, more, like, reading. It, was, it wasn't, like, necessarily re required. It was, like, more optional. But what was required of us was to, whenever there was a case study the next day, like, we were definitely, like, re required to, like, read through the case study, like, a little bit. But other than that, we didn't have too much of a workload but definitely the workload kicked kicked off a little bit when like especially during the last week where like where there was a lot of like project stuff yeah i have to agree uh the, the only work we had to do in the first two weeks was to uh, read the case studies and if you're interested in more read the additional readings uh the lecture what i posted um definitely the workload in last week was way more than the first two weeks um but like it's completely up to you like if you manage your time correctly i know some teams already finished most of their group work in by week two um so they didn't have as much work as other teams by this third week but it's entirely up to you like even if you um the project by itself is more of a test towards well not test it's like more of like applying what you learned um 
in the past two weeks, the past three or two. Um, and it's not like a lot of additional work. It's stuff that you already know, it's stuff you know how to find. So it's not a lot of additional work. So it's still manageable even uh, if you start the project in the last week. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, do you guys want to talk a little bit about the final project? I mean, I know you guys mentioned it was about applying concepts you learned towards a startup or a business that you chose yourself. But do you want to talk a little bit about how you chose your company, like why you chose it, um, what the project entailed, just like the setup of the whole thing? All right, I can start us off. So at the beginning of the program, you're actually randomly assigned to a group of five. And then I think on the second or third day, you get to like choose and like debate which company or startup you want to choose. You always had the option to like create your own startup and like do like a whole like different like analysis from scratch. But the, most of the project basically entails like using the knowledge that you learned throughout the first week and the second week. So thus there would be a marketing analysis, operations analysis, a finance analysis, a human resource analysis and usually a leadership analysis. I guess Ivan could talk more about like maybe the poster session a little bit. Yeah. Um. So it's the company, like it depends on what you do. Like if you do a startup uh, personally, from what I've seen that they usually have a lot more work involved because, you know, it's your own idea, generate your own idea. But uh, that's why I like a lot more teams when with like, kind of uh, finding your own company of their own. Uh, so like people did like, like Jack did open AI for some team doing Lego, Disney, whatever. Uh, but like in the end, we got to have a poster session where we had to make a poster uh, describing what we have found such as in HR operations, leadership kind of things. And it was uh, fun seeing everyone's posters. It was kind of obvious. Um, like which teams put in a lot more, a lot of work. And like some teams definitely went over the top. Like I remember this team, uh, they like made a paper model of a Nike Air Force, I think, Air Force shoes. Um, yeah, it's just like a lot of creativity going on. Um, and it was just a poster session. It was pretty fun. The, all the other kids in the other warden programs came in, asked questions. There was some like RCs who also came in and also the program participants, the LBW kids themselves also got to walk around and understand a little bit more about what the other people were doing in the past two two weeks. So it was quite interesting. I guess next question would be kind of like, would you say, would you say like the camp was hard academically or is it more like you, you already knew kind of the stuff they were talking about. They just kind of like introduced like maybe a little bit of new concepts, but for the most part, you guys already knew what they were kind of teaching. Um, I I personally think that this camp was like pretty chill compared to like other camps, like other camps, like I think YYGS could count as one of these camps, but they're kind of like kind of intensive. They go like way later than like 4.30, like their lectures like continue until like, 5 30 6 30 i don't know uh, probably some uh, some of you guys have attended these like programs that are a little bit more intensive like basically after 4 30 you just had the rest of the time to yourself so we'll talk more about that in activities but and personally i think like the content they more taught it was it was good content but it was also like kind of introductory content so they kind of went so it was like very like surface level in my opinion but on on the last two days of the first and first week they also hosted things called concentrations where you could go they would split you up like half half and then you get to choose which concentration you got to go to like the first day was uh, marketing and operations and then the second day was an option between finance and hr so, so. yeah um i feel like the camp was obviously you learned a lot about you know, leadership. And I feel like the lectures were a bit more like as opposed to what we typically see, like just throwing numbers at you, throwing information at you. It's more focused on collaboration, conversation, and things that are like not achieved by learning, it's by achieved by doing. Um, so that's a lot of focus on that. Um, so that's why it's 
kind of not academic in that sort of way if you perceive it like that but um in my opinion definitely the breakout like concentrations that jack mentioned it allowed like the students to you know learn more what they think they they want to learn like um i would go to hr because i feel like i don't know a lot about it so i just go there and learn more about it and the lecturers and the tas would be really chill about it they'll help you out like even if the room is like 30 40 people they still try their best to personally help them achieve that one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection uh, so that's why i think it's like even though it's not rig quote-unquote rigorous it's definitely very educated it's a very educative environment yeah just like to add on to that like especially for the concentrations itself like a lot of students like got creative like they know that they wanted to like maybe like learn about the other topic or they couldn't because they went to like one concentration so like some of the friends that went to the other con concentration they just asked them for notes and there was like a really nice night there was a nice note exchange and like information exchange so even though like they didn't necessarily go to the concentration they can still like get the info from the, from the other like room which was also like really helpful Oh, that's so sweet. I actually love that, like, last part. That feels so, like, I don't know, like, collaborative in a sense. Um, but, I don't know, I haven't, like, been to LBW, obviously. Um, I mean, I applied and I was actually going to go, but then, like, some schedule complications came up. But that sounds so fun. Um, I think, like, the part, this is just me, like, talking about it, not really questioned so much, but I just think it's so, like, nice that you can explore based on what you would like to do and have the opportunity to encounter, so to speak, these different topics. Like, cause I know for a lot of summer programs, it's just like a, a course schedule and like they teach what they think is important. And obviously like that is crucial to the future, right? But I think it's really nice how you can choose specifically like, oh, I'm more interested in like HR or like I'm more interested in looking specifically at the numbers and you can like kind of tailor that experience to yourself. Um, so that's really nice to like have that experience of looking, just meeting new people. Oh, but another thing I wanted to ask, like speaking of having new experiences, um, because like, I think some of the learning things, like very introductory stuff, you can like um, have online courses, but attending programs like these, you get a lot of opportunities to talk with professors um, or like other people that worked in context specifically to, to come and talk to the students. So what were like the guest speakers like? um i would say yeah obviously i taught i briefly did touch on this earlier like the guest speakers are primarily wharton professors like our first guest speaker was the finance professor michael roberts he gave a really interesting lecture about hedge funds and all that and then there's another interesting uh interesting lecture with like the future of ai and business with um ethan professor ethan Malik. And I felt like those two like were really interesting, and there were also some like professors that the that our like teacher like contacted and told to come in give give a few like lectures about human resource and leadership, and also near the end on of the of the last week, uh, one of the one of the uh, assistant teachers hosted a uh, a seminar with like uh with pe her like con connections that are also like working in like the field that she was working in so that was also like really helpful for like career and I think Ivan can continue this can continue like t talking about this yeah and so uh the guest lectures were um kind of like how do I say it? it's like not what we learn in the lectures um like say there was I remember there was a uh, one person who came in and talked about entrepreneurship um and it's just like touching on other aspects that we typically don't really learn about in the program. Like what I really enjoy about the program is like, sure, you can learn all this stuff at home. However, um, like you don't know at home, you don't know what to learn. You can learn it, but you just don't know what to, right? And also like the program guides you through like the most efficient way, the best way, the most productive way to learn all these things. And it also gives you resources to, you know, ask questions, create connections with all of these extreme uh, experts in their fields. Um, and also like just find, do more things that you can't do at home, which is why 
I think this program does really good. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. Um, I guess this is my final question for academics. Um, I was just like, um, saying like, cause I went to, I went like you were talking about guest speakers. I think it was similar. I went to the uh, Berkeley. They had a business camp last year. And there was like, it was these college professors, I guess. Is it also like that for Wharton? Was it like professor, the college professors at Wharton to come speak to you guys? Yeah, it was, it was, it was like professors at Wharton. Like, yeah. Oh my God, that's so nice. I think like, um, I don't know, it's just like, I wish that my schedule had cleared up enough that I was able to go. Like, <laughs> In my schedule, like, because LBW was three weeks, and like two and a half of those weeks, I like I had something going on, like I just physically could not have been there, um, even though like I really wanted to go, so that was quite unfortunate. But yeah, that sounds so fun. Um, I mean, this is like a little bit also into like student life and things like that. But from a more academic perspective, do you think that there was a lot of student collaboration, like? Aside from the final project, of course, because like you had that as a team. So you, you know, kind of had to work with people. But, you know, like during lectures, during um, non-final project hours, was there a lot of academic collaboration? Because I feel like people have different learning styles, different like teamwork styles. Um, but like, did they encourage that to happen? I feel like they kind of did. Because like at the beginning, they kind of like stressed that there was like no grade in this like in this like program so like the points like I feel like at the end of the day like you still want to use like the point values that you get from like projects and other stuff to like evaluate how well you did but there was like no pressure because like there was no like specific grade assigned to it so that so I feel like that definitely allowed for like a more collaborative envi environment among peers and like kind of like eliminated a little bit of like the competition the competitiveness of like oh I need to do well in this program and I need to like do better than others and like so. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like one of the biggest points of the program was to establish collaboration and the, there was a lot of uh, academic group work surrounding collaboration, such as um, we had to survival, the Arctic survival game where we would rank, they would give us a list of objects and we would rank them by importance. Um, rank them by importance to to see if like how close you can get to actual like, expert recommendation and it was like a really good group activity to see like uh, group collaboration to see if there is like a leading voice suppressing other voices or is it more like a team collaboration you're listening to everyone stuff like that uh and then we also had the saturn a uh, saturn group project where um we would launch a spaceship or well, like theoretically and launch a spaceship to one of saturn's moons um, and there's like a new group for each of these projects. So you were working with different people. Um, so it was just like the, one of the main focuses of the program was to work on these collaboration skills, work on these teamwork skills, and definitely helped with the end final project where you had to work with people to create a final product. Also, I wanted to add briefly, I'm not sure if this is the case with future um, LBW sessions, but for us, we got to sit wherever we want with whoever we want. So like sometimes like the seeing changed a lot, which also meant we got to work with a lot of different people. Oh, that's nice. I love that there was like a collaborative environment because I know like some summer camps, they're like super intense and like the whole point is to like go and learn. And like there's nothing wrong with that. Like, right. I think that's also really important that people actually learn in the camps. But, you know, being able to learn and interact with others and because like in the future, no matter what job you have, no matter what position, like you're going to, you know, have to talk to people. So I love that, like you did get opportunities to, I don't know, just like meet new people, work with them and figure out different personalities, things like that. Yeah, for sure. I definitely felt like that was definitely the case for LBW. LBW it was definitely a very collaborative environment rather than like a more competitive environment. So thank you for tuning into our episode today. Make sure to join us midweek for part two of our Wharton LBW discussion in which we'll continue with activities and social life of the Wharton LBW program.